So everything depends really like how you want to live. Another con for me. Okay, let me just start with his first point. So living conditions, definitely me coming overseas. And the biggest thing for anybody is if I'm coming over there, what is my budget looking like? Okay, how much am I bringing in? How much am I looking to spend a month? Because you don't want to either dip into savings you don't have or you don't want to be in a position where you're not in your birth country and you're living in conditions that subpar to you. Like you've got a certain expectation of how you want to live uh, or maybe you, you have an expectation of how you want to live and you're expecting to come here and have a better standard of living. I think that's probably why a lot of people do come over um, to Southeast Asia and other places. They migrate because they are looking for a higher standard of living. The standard of living that they're currently experiencing might be okay or they might even deem it ter terrible. In my situation, it was somewhere in between. It's like, oh, oh this is not great, my standard of, of living, like where I am. And I've got expectations that I know that the quality of life potentially could be better. And I keep hearing people talking about it and that's not good enough for me. I want to know for sure whether I can get a better standard of living elsewhere. And we said it's really, really correct. You need to start, if you're gonna live anywhere else, especially here in the Philippines or you're looking to live here, one thing that I've learned is you need to match up your budget with your expectation of standard of living. Because you might get here going off what somebody has said and he's kept it rule so far, of you're gonna come here and live like a king on a thousand dollars or a thousand pounds a month and that is not happening you can do okay it, it depends if you're living with family and uh over here you've got family or friends over here and you've got a thousand dollars you'll be more than fine but if you're talking about rent and, and no bills to pay it, it, it can it can take you far you can live very happily now if you're going to live in if you come from like the uk or the us and you have a certain standard of living you aren't living homeless or in a uh, maybe even a, a trailer you'd be happy in a trailer park you can find some decent accommodation it really depends where you are but that accommodation may not necessarily be next to next to you know amenities that you're used to it might not you know lo you might not have these local shops you might not be able to get here there and there like things may be further away so like me civilized i don't want to say civilization but uh, i'm very close to to the to the to the beach area or beachfront area that is somewhat rural. So it's a, I would, I would say it's comparable to a seaside or coastal area in the UK um, where, you know, things can be a bit cheaper. However, it's within a 20 or 30 minute drive from a built up area, a, a larger city, not like the biggest city like Manila, but a large enough city where I can get amenities. I can have access to um, doctor and even in the town that I'm living in, Obviously, there's dentists here and there's, um, you know, local doctors, uh, certified doctors and mechanics. There's local businesses, but it's not on the same level as living in, in a city. Um, no, nowhere near it. So I've been able to adjust my expectation and lifestyle of what I wanted. I didn't want to be in the city anyway. So it worked very well for me. Know what you're getting yourself into. If you're expecting to come here and live in a, in, in a, in a condo that's close to everything for cheap, it's not happening. You can buy land out here cheap. And obviously, I mean, you can't necessarily own that land. I wonder if he's going to get into that. Let me not go too deep. Let's continue. Let's continue with the content. I don't want to talk everyone's ears off. 